Hey everybody, Jedi Warlock here, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, I have a special video for you all that actually was suggested to me the other day by one of my fellow WoW content creators. I was really excited to hear that somebody was interested in learning more about the exotic flora of one of my favorite vanilla WoW zones. So I reached out to WoWmaster, the server GM, to help me gather the footage for this episode. So a special shout out to WoWmaster for making this video possible. Without further ado, I present... Top 10 trees in Vanilla WoW Stranglethorn Vale. So to start off here in the number 10 spot, we have what I like to refer to as Jungle Tree 1. Now this is the most basic tree that you can find pretty much anywhere in Stranglethorn Vale. It's rather large, has some vines hanging down from the branches, uh, maybe some moss growing near the base of the tree, but frankly it's just too common to have anything higher than the number 10 spot on the list. Next up in the number 9 spot we have the Side Growing Jungle Tree 1. Now this is essentially a copy paste of the normal jungle tree one, just tilted on its side a little bit, and uh, a few more roots were added toward the bottom, so it looks like it's, you know, kind of connecting into the nearby uh, ravine or gully that it's situated on. So again, nothing too fancy, but it is something a little more than just the basic jungle tree one. Here in the number eight spot, we have the Chonky Tree. Now the Chonky Tree is basically everything you know and love about Jungle Tree 1 taken to the next level. You can see here it has more girth around the trunk, more expansive vines along the top canopy, as well as much more moss growing near the bottom of the tree. So if you like Jungle Tree 1, then you're sure to enjoy the experience you'll have seeing the Chonky Tree. Coming in at lucky number seven, we have the palm cluster trees. Now, this refers to usually two to three smaller palm trees growing within close proximity to one another, and you can find a lot of these growing along the coastline of Stranglethorn Vale. These trees are very realistic looking to what real palm trees look like, and I believe they really accentuate the tropical feel of the zone. Next up, in the number six spot, we have the Singular Palm Tree. Now, this tree is fairly similar in size and stature to the component trees of the Palm Cluster. However, as it is just standing there out on its own, I believe it delivers a much stronger statement. Just barely reaching the top five range of this list, we have the Blue Coral, which I know is not technically a plant, but it's about as close as we can get to one here on the vile reef just off the coast of Stranglethorn Vale. You can see the blue purple tone of the coral really sets the mood for the underwater areas of the zone and it really just looks great against the backdrop of the blue sea as well as the kind of sandy gray seafloor. Coming in at number four on this list is the massive jungle tree. Now these are much less common than you know the typical jungle trees or the palm trees. There's only a couple of them located in this zone. However, the one you're seeing here is actually just outside the entrance to the Zolgarub raid. So I think that really kind of accentuates the mystery and the intrigue of the secluded eastern area of Stranglethorn Vale. At number three, we have all of the fallen trees and logs of Stranglethorn Vale. Now, these trees might not look like much. They might not look as exciting or frankly alive as some of the other items on this list. However, they are still very important additions to the landscape as they convey to the player a sense of age and history within the zone. In the respectable number two spot on the list, we have the side growing palm tree. Now these trees are very similar to the traditional palm trees that we've seen previously in the list. However, I like these ones a lot more actually, 
just because of the way they can be placed, you know, on the edge of a gully or on the edge of a small hill to really give the environment a little bit more character, as you can see here on the side of the Guru Bashi Arena. Now last, but certainly not least, we have the number one tree on this list, the Zeppelin tree. Now this tree is located in Northern Stranglethorn Vale, and as you can see, there's a crashed Zeppelin model built right into the tree structure itself, which I think is kind of interesting. In addition to being very rare, and this is actually the only instance of it appearing in Stranglethorn Vale, I really also appreciate how much time and effort the designers went into making it. You can see there's almost nothing like it around it, and you can see even here there's a little metal piece of the Zeppelin just kind of hanging down from the vines above. It's overall just a great game asset, and I believe it's worthy of the number one spot on this list. With that being said, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Again, another special thanks to Wildmaster for helping film today, and until next time, peace.